So do you really take your troubles with you wherever you go? Right? I think if you go somewhere and your troubles don't go with you, then uh, maybe it's not about you. Right? So some troubles you do carry with you, but a lot of troubles you don't carry with you. Right? So sometimes troubles are situational. For example, living in Los Angeles or San Francisco or New York City or Washington DC, you're going to be much higher stress than living in Sydney or Brisbane or Perth. Right? So wherever you go, there you are, is partly right and partly wrong. Right? You're going to be a different person in different places. Now, if you're an alcoholic or you know a chronic debtor or spender, yeah, those problems are going to go with you. But you can move somewhere and start sleeping better. You might have more friends. You might make might make more money. You might thrive. And we're profoundly, profoundly affected by the company we keep, situations we place ourselves in, the jobs we take, the education we get. It's not just all about us and our internal state. So I am in Sydney, Australia right now, heading towards Clavelli Beach. And uh, all the problems that I had in Los Angeles, I've left behind, or almost all of them. Like I feel free of anything that was bothering me back in California. And it's nice, right? When I read the LA Times, this is how I'm reading about a foreign nation. So there's a different vibe here. Right? So any tension about crime, any tension about not having health insurance, tension about dealing with the homeless, crazy drug addicts. You don't have that in Australia. Now, I have certain predispositions towards uh, lack of conscientiousness. Not to, certain amount of carelessness. Right, that, those predispositions are still with me. Sorry. certain lack of sensitivity, yeah, that's still with me. Certain predispositions towards selfishness, that's still with me. But you'll only know if you move, right? You'll only know which problems are just eternally you if you get up, get out, and move. Just go on a lengthy vacation. So that's the great thing about going on a vacation. You get to reset yourself. Just like when your computer's not working too well, you restart it. So too you can restart yourself. Think how good your computer runs after you shut everything down and restart it. Well, I think the same can go for us. You can just 
is press reset on your system. So every day is a good day in Australia. think you're an introvert but get yourself into such situations you might realize how extroverted you can be you might think you're neurotic get yourself in a more relaxed environment and uh, you might not be so neurotic anymore of trying new things and once you get into safety you not be as scared to try new things suffer from lack of conscientiousness well might find if you improve your relations with other people, feel more at ease in the world, feel happier, might enjoy substantial increase in conscientiousness. So there are many traits that we think, ah, oh, that's just who I am. Not necessarily, 